everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new if you are new you don't know who i am my name is jody and i like to create beauty related content here on this channel so if that's something you guys are interested in make sure that you are subscribed and click the bell just so you know if I'd, every single time that i upload we are still currently 10 subscribers away from 700 subscribers so it'd be really nice if you haven't already to subscribe to my channel um and yeah please <laughs> So today's video is another exciting one and that is because we have a new launch to test out. Beauty Bay released this week their new Techno Days collection I think it's called. Um, so obviously I had to grab some bits and obviously the first thing I had to grab was the eyeshadow palette. This is one of their 10 shade eyeshadow palettes um, or it's called a pressed pigment palette. Um, just like I think I've reviewed both the other collections they did a pastels palette and well a pastels collection and they also did a neon collection so i will link both of those videos down below and a playlist of beauty bay videos in case you're wondering about any of the launch from beauty bay that i've done so yeah i picked up this and then obviously i also had to go ahead and pick up the aqualiner palette as well they bought out an aqualiner palette with the neon collection um so i had to get this one because that one was so so good so that's what we're going to test out today so if you want to see what these look like and see my thoughts and opinions and what look i do then just keep watching and let's just get straight into the video okay so for anybody that's wondering so these palettes are all like in little clab together so the palette was um 10 pound um which is their standard for this size palette and this is packaging i actually really like the packaging for this one i think it looks really really cool um and then this is what the palette looks like inside so it wasn't what i was expecting i don't really know what i was expecting from this one but i don't necessarily know if this was it i think i was thinking of something that was maybe a little bit more on the neon side so for anybody that doesn't know this is the pastels palette really handy to have and then this one is the utopia palette which is like your neon colors i guess um and then we also had the utopia aquiliner palette which just looks like this i think they have another aquiliner palette out that has a white in it because i've just realized this one isn't the one with the white in i swear i saw someone whole one with a white in and then the aquiliner palette was £12 which is how much the other one was and I really like this one actually and they are really good quality I mean £12 for five isn't bad at all really so this is what the matching line of palette looks like so I'm not quite sure what kind of look to go in with today I mean I have a little bit of an idea my gorgeous friend Luce sent me some idea pics so I think we're going to go with this one. I don't know who the original artist was. So if you know, please do let me know. But I think we're going to go for something like this. And then what I was thinking is instead of a black liner, where, like, instead of a black wing, we could do maybe a purple or a pink um, instead. And then, yeah, I thought that would be quite good because it incorporates all the colours that we have in this palette um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to swatch the palette for you guys because we, we love a good swatch we always like to swatch our new palettes um, i'm really really excited to swatch the shimmers this is the first one of this size that has shimmers as well as mattes they're normally an all matte palette so i'm going to just go across so we've got kaleidoscope oh these are a beautiful formula i can tell already dazed rave and i don't know how to say that <laughs> the yellow so this is what we're looking like i don't know how well these are going to swatch okay come through beauty better knew that yellow was going to be a bit questionable just because it is on the paler side they are stunning absolutely beautiful okay very um they've got a lot of kickback especially the green um but i found that with the pastels 
and the Utopia palette so it doesn't really bother me but just so you're aware. Then on the bottom row we have Acid, Spectrum, oof, 1991 and Sunrise. So there, oh look at that shade, I feel like we need to use that shade. These, oh please ignore the indents in my arm, it's just from where I've been leaning on my table. That's the second row. Oh my god, this is beautiful. I don't think we're going to get it as like neon looking as, as she's done it, but I think we're going to do a gorgeous look. So that is the entire palette swatched those shimmers are they're the gorgeous beauty bay formula that we've come to love so i'm very happy about that um right i'm gonna prep my eye off camera just using a bit of beauty bay eye base in shade two and then we will get started on the look um i didn't say i'm not gonna swatch the aqua liner palette um maybe if you guys do want to see swatches of it i can pop them on my instagram it's makeup with jody just in case you don't already follow um i'm trying to get to 3,000 followers over on my instagram so if you're not already following me over there please can you make sure you are thanks <laughs> um so i popped the beauty bay eye base just on the one eye i'm just gonna do one eye on camera one eye off because i'm going to do the other eye for tiktok um let's have a look at this look then okay what i think i'm going to do is I'm going to take the green first and I'm going to take, I don't know what green to take. Should we do a mixture of the two greens? Um, and I'm just taking this on a Morphe M149 brush and I'm just going to like dip into both greens and pop it on. Oh wow, okay. Oh, you know what? They're brighter than what I thought they were going to be. And I don't think that's the eye base. I genuinely do think that is um, the colours. I'm taking this above my crease because I have slightly hooded eyes for anybody that doesn't know. So we're taking it above the crease so that when my eyes are open we can still see that shadow. Then I'm going to take the purple shade. I'm going to take this on exactly the same brush but a clean version of it. I have two. I always make sure I have two of these kind of brushes just because um, I go through them so quickly. <laughs> well, I use them for everything. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. I feel like I should have put that green a bit more further in to be honest. Let's see. I'm going to show you what my palette looks like now. I'm not really digging my shades in that much. Um, but I will pre-warn you. This is what my palette is currently looking like. Um, it's everywhere and it's all over my desk. There's a lot of kickback with these shades. A lot. Then I'm going to take a slightly fluffier brush perhaps. Yeah. And I'm going to go in with the yellow shade. And I'm going to pop this above the green and kind of do like the 50-50 method a little bit here. Just so they'll merge together a little bit better. We don't want too much of a harsh line. This isn't exactly how this girl's done it to be honest. It's nowhere near what, how she's done it but we'll go with it. Um, That was a P. Louise 143 brush. By the way, and I'm just going to look for the one that's very similar. I'm going to take a P. Louise 198 brush and I'm going to go in with the pink shade and we're going to put that above the purple, like so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera, I'm just going to like build all this up, blend it out nicely, and then we're going to come in and do put a shimmer shade over the top okay taking a morphe mickey mouse and friends mm2 brush i'm gonna go in with the sparkly green because i just think it's gorgeous I might go in with a bit of this with the shimmery purple as well hmm it's not picking up 
These are the types of shirts that I always note with your finger. Let's see if a Morphe M124 will do better. Find certain brushes, pick up these types of shades a little bit better than others. Yeah. So not perfect, but... Just go in with your finger. They are finger shades, not brush shades. Then I'm also going to take the purpley shade and pack that on just to help blend those together a little bit. Okay, so this is the eyeshadow all on. Now we're going to take the Aqualiner palette and I think I'm going to go in with the pink. I was going to go in with the purple but I think because we've got purple down already. By the way, these are so hard to get into. There we go. Take the Peaches and Cream PC46 brush. So this is how it's gone on. It's gone on really, really well. I really like Beauty Bay eyeliners. Um, and I've also built this up a little bit. Probably just going to wait for it to dry and then maybe put another layer on. Um, I'm debating do I want like another one. But I don't know if that's going to be a bit too much. There's a lot going on on this eye. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to do the other eye. Um, put my base on. And then I will come back to you with my final thoughts of the products. Okay guys. So I'm back. I'll quickly run through everything that I'm wearing. So I've got the Collection Filter Finish um, Primer on. This is a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury. I've got a review of that over on my TikTok. Um, I've got the Be Perfect Chroma Foundation on. I adore this foondation. Um, I wear w2 for anybody that's interested i've got the xx revolution concealer on been loving this at the minute fenty powder in butter elf putty bronzer in honey drip and then i have beauty bay donut on beauty bay bitten blush and Beauty Bay Flash Highlighter. I want to get a slightly darker shade of highlighter. But I like to try and use as many Beauty Bay products as I can when I do these types of videos. Um, mascara is Benefit Bad Girl Bang. And lashes are Meggy Lashes in the style 2022. Oh, and my lip combination is P. Louise Attachment Lip Liner. And I think I've put it back up, haven't I? No, I haven't. It's here um lipstick is beauty bay freckle over the top so that is everything that i'm wearing <laughs> now let's chat about these two palettes so i'm going to talk about this first for 10 pound i think these are well worth the money um the shadows blended really nicely into one another which we love um nicely pigmented didn't have a trouble any trouble with that shimmers are gorgeous they are the type of shimmers that you are better off using your finger with um they just go on a lot nicer with your finger um they're that like putty type of texture which like beauty bay are known for doing now and they do really really well the only um issue i have with the palette is that it was very kickback like there was so much you do not want to do your face before you use this palette like you can see how much like it's used in the pan and that isn't because i was digging in it was literally you can tap the lightest amount on of, onto your brush and there is instant kickback so i'd say that's the only downside to these palettes um is how kickbacky they are but other than that beautiful palette well worth the money as per the liner palette, again, well worth the money. I absolutely adore these liner palettes. Um, I really want them to bring out more of them. I did only use the pink, but it did that wing perfectly. It's quite um, neon once it dries. Like, it doesn't dry down pastel or anything. Um, yeah, it worked really, really well. Cracked slightly, 
but I've managed to fix it. Like, I think that a bit of water can't fix. I mean, I think that was just because I did layer it quite um, a bit too much. Like, I didn't, I should have let it dry a little bit more. I just didn't. I just kept trying to go over it, which was my own mistake. I'm, I'm still getting used to aquiliners. But again, £12, I think, is a little bit expensive for one of these. But then, I feel like aquiliners are on the more expensive side of, like, the makeup industry anyway. It's like £2.40 a shade. Which I guess isn't too bad because like one pot can be like six pound and up. But um, yeah, I think if they made this ten pound as well, I feel like I'd be a little bit happier. Like twenty pound for both, whereas it was twenty two pound for both. But honestly, another um, another beat by collection that I'm really happy with. Um, just to let you know, there was a set of brushes which were £15 in this collection. And they also had lip jellies, like lip oils in like squeezy tubes, like very 90s. Which obviously fits with the theme. They were, I think, uh, £5 each. Or you could get the three of them for £12. They're like on offer. But I didn't get them because I knew I wouldn't really use them. And I didn't get the brushes because I really don't need any more brushes at the minute. Um, but £15 for a set of eye brushes isn't too bad and beauty bay quality is really nice so if you are looking for some new ones maybe look towards this collection but yeah that is my review i would really highly recommend this if you've liked their other collections you're gonna love this one color scheme colors i mean they've, they've turned out quite popping um color scheme is a little bit disjointed but to be fair you can still create cohesive looks with this like you can do like a pink purple look you can do an all green look um so there is plenty of choice i would just say it is a little bit limiting but nothing nothing that putting it with another palette couldn't couldn't fix so that is my review i really recommend this i'm going to leave a link down below it is affiliated just means that if you guys buy through my link i get a little bit of commission back um but you're not obviously obliged to or anything like that but i would really appreciate it if you do want to buy this collection you haven't already if you check my link down below um i'll also link all of the bits that i use like all of the um face bits and anything else that you can purchase i will link down below for you guys and yeah i hope to see you in my next video bye